Hello everyone. It is Saturday morning and I am here to do my weekly collage in my challenge um, collage book. It is week 25. This is the page I will be collaging on and these are the props for this week. Something in the shape of a triangle. I thought that would be a problem, but in my collage bits for my glue book I found this house shape with a triangular roof and these little banners that are shaped like triangles. So it wasn't hard at all. And uh, instructions. I pulled out a portion of sewing instructions. A formula. This is a trigonometry formula. Something stenciled. And I have these pieces from a junk uh, art journal that I had cut up. So all of these are done with stencils. Um, a place I pulled out this little packet of small photographs of Rochester. So I can use one of those. I like the size and I like the color of them. This kind of a sepia tone. And a bonus, but I won't need the bonus. So, let's just jump in. I think, I don't really have a focal point, so I think I'd like to use this house shape with the triangle roof, and that can be the focal point. select a photo. This is Rochester, New York, not Rochester, Minnesota. There's a triangular spire there. That one's more prominent. I don't have to add more triangles, but it's kind of fun to play off of that. So I could use one of these that have the colors of this, or I could use this for contrast. I think I want to use one of these. I like this one. It's got some texture on the back. see if I can peel this layer with the texture off of it. It's It was a journal that was made in a mixed media paper book. So it's got layers there. I got rid of the texture pieces anyway. Okay. And I could just take a little piece of this formula. It says right on there, addition formulas. Came out of a math book.
let's just have something that's not torn. Well, the house isn't torn, and that photo isn't torn. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five elements here. take the first sometimes I take the first arrangement that I do this is pretty much the same thing just reversed directions I think I like the photo on this side of the house though so I don't cover up more of the rows I think I like it like this. I'm going to do a little bit of inking today. If I can find my... Oh, if you've been watching my channel this week, you know that I have been... I spent the entire week destashing, purging, putting things in my shop, reorganizing a bit. Well, I've got to put some felt on that. It's not the first time I've done that. But why is it so noisy? That's better. So I've managed to go through pretty much everything, everything that I'm going to do at this time anyway, in one week, actually eight days. <laughs> and I'm spending today kind of putting the final touches on the organization tidying up, vacuuming, and stuff like that, but I uh, wanted to get this collage done before I got too far into everything. This is the first creative thing I've done in a week, except for creative organization, I guess. I've moved a few things around. To make things a little easier for me and I have some empty drawers that I don't know what I'm going to do with because they're a little bit difficult to access anyway so that's why I wanted to move things out of them so I don't know what I'll do with the empty stuff I'd like to get rid of a drawer unit but I haven't been able to do that yet but I'm not done. We'll see what what I can accomplish today. I think I'll have to take it slow. I'm pretty tired today. I've been going to the gym, too. and um, Not that I work super hard at the gym, but uh, I guess I don't need to do that. I mean, I walk on the treadmill. Yesterday I used the treadmill and then a uh, bicycle stationary bike and um, but it's a it was a weird position almost almost recumbent but not quite so it was difficult and then um, just a couple of minutes on a like a rowing machine to try it out which I liked I liked it so <clears throat> so far I had only been doing the treadmill and then my son earlier this week helped me with the weight machines crumple that up a bit. So I am expanding a bit. So between that and 
just working for hours, long hours of destashing and organizing. I'm, my body is tired and my brain is tired. But it feels good to have accomplished what I've done this week. So what have you been up to this week? Some of you have been watching my shop and my channel and purchasing my D-Stash items, and I thank you very much for that. And hopefully, you will make some beautiful things. I've got to move this fan. <sighs> Sorry. I put a fan in my doorway and uh, moved it out of my way to go get something and then I didn't put it back. So it was just blowing out into a room where nobody could feel it. It's going to be a hot one today. We've had some lovely cooler weather this week. But it's time to crank it up again. Okay. I like it. What do you think? I love the bright spot of color in, in all of this neutral. Even the background is a neutral brown color. But those colors help brighten it up and that's nice. Let's see, where's my stampy thing? And today is the 26th. This time I'll remember to take the washi tape off. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole like day by day thing here because I kind of like this image from a vintage um, cookbook. It was from the 50s and I just love the colors that were in that book. And I like that green, whatever kind of soda that is, mint. I think that's a piece of mint in there. So I think I'll just write on here that I spent the week de-stashing my craft room and office. Something like that. I never did fill in last week's either. I'll have to do that today. So this is the last Saturday of June. So let's go back and look at June's collages. Okay, this was the first week in June. Week two. Week three. 
in week four. Another week done. Um, since my brain is tired, like I said, I think, I brought in my scripture book to just do some collaging in there, but I think it's easier and less thought-provoking <laughs> to just do um, a page or two in here. I did not pick anything out, though, except for what I just keep sticking back in my book. Actually, there's a quote right there, but I don't need to put it with that. Let's do that. Broken Beauty from the Broken Places. And I have certainly been in some broken places in the last five years. Trying to bring beauty out of the ashes. Let's use her. There's a glare on her, I'm sorry. There, that helps if I turn that light a little bit. Oh, I didn't bring out anything for backgrounds. Oh, <clears throat> yep, I've got my baskets right here. That's where I found my triangle shapes. I got rid of some of my collages, collage pieces too, that were in these baskets, so I don't have so many to try to go through. I like that. wouldn't work on this thin paper. I'll just round it. It's kind of crooked there, but I think I'm going to put a little strip of washi tape down this edge anyway, because too much of the white is showing. Do I want to do anything to this piece? I think I'll leave it the way it is. Next week I'll try to, if I have time, I will try to make sure I do some work on the scripture collage because you guys, those of you who responded to my question, like the idea of alternating between this book and the scripture book. When I, after I do my weekly collage. Because the weekly collage doesn't usually take me very long. So I like to do a little bit more, give you a longer video, and also gives me a chance to just freeform collage, which is always fun. thin washies. I rely on this one 
because it's black and white and it goes with a lot of things. It's one of the very few thin ones that I have. I didn't cut it long enough. I want to make sure I cover that corner. And I think that's good enough. Do our little bit of decorating on it. Need to sharpen that. I knew I just had a pencil sharpener today and I put it away so I knew right where I put it. This is the Stabilo All Pencil. Some of you ask about it. Right there, it says Stabilo. I'm trying to get it so you can read it. Stabilo All. And I got it on um, Amazon. It is water soluble, so I just draw, make a line where I want it and then I will wet it with a water brush to spread it out. Bible talks about God making beauty from ashes. And then I'll just, this has water in the barrel, has a synthetic brush there. And the water comes out very easily, but it doesn't drip all over. Um, this is a Jane Davenport brand that I think I got on clearance or something from Michael's but you can find these in the art department Hobby Lobby and Michael's I'm sure or art stores or even on Amazon probably but in the art supply area where they sell canvases and paints and paint brushes you will find some of these I've seen them at Hobby Lobby Maybe I'll do some glue book or collage pages um, while I'm working on the design team project because I can't work on that on camera, except for the cover I could do. So I'm not using any of the, I don't think I'm using any of the digital images on the cover. But um, the kit isn't released yet, so. I can show it to you on July 8th, and that's when the kit will be released. So I'm not sure what kind of videos you'll see next week while I'm working on that design team project. This pen is a Signo Uniball White. So it's basically a, a white paint pen. I just make little dots wherever I feel like it.
heard a sound behind me and it scared me but it was just my little stack of collage piece baskets kind of tipped over it sounded like an animal scurrying or something I don't have any animals Okay, I'm going to call that good. Uh, and I will just write 6, 26, 2021, right there. In case you haven't seen this before, this is a Martha Stewart office book um, that I got at Staples, and they had them on clearance, so probably can't get them anymore, but I'm sure you can get similar ones. This one is three and a half by five and a half, so it's probably similar to a field note size notebook. Um, so it's just a really fun look I just I use that stripe right there maybe I should put it on all of that all of those pages <laughs> anyway um, it's a really fun size to work in it's not overwhelming and intimidating and it doesn't take long to fill in the space and make something pretty to look at so I'm having fun with this I'm glad I started another one I have a full one this was a two pack when I bought it years ago I've had it for a long time and I filled one up. It took me a long time to do it because I would set it aside and not do it for a long time. And I debated on whether I wanted to start another one, but I waited about a year and then I thought, yes, I want to start another one. So here we are. And I'm glad I started it. So we have that. And let's look at this one one more time before we go. And that one from today. And now I need to restore some order, finish putting my rooms back in order, and I'll be all ready to get crafty on Monday. Thanks for watching. Have a creative day today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.